So what we have here is actually this robot looking through his eyes. So it has two cameras over there. And it's able to recognize when I'm facing him. So it recognizes my face. If you look here at the computer, you will see that my face is sort of surrounded with a square. And what this robot does at the moment, uh, we have implemented a gazing behavior. It's able to follow my face anywhere I move. So this is one of the basic behaviors we need if we want to have meaningful interaction. We have to allow him to look at our face and recognize what we're doing. The other aspect we're working on is the communication. But you see that he has no arms, and we're very limited at that. So we use facial expressions as means of communication. Okay? And since we have cameras here, he can interpret what we're doing. The idea here is that you, um, using our facial expression as feedback, he can learn how to interact with us, to please us, and to engage us in a meaningful uh, interaction. What we've done so far is we've actually made him to mimic our facial expression. So if I look at him, he will recognize his face, he will gaze at me, and then if I smile, he will smile back at me. Stop smiling, and then disappear. We'll go back to, it's actually seeing your face, following you. And it has a, a repertoire of facial expressions. So, it. so um, if I, for instance, now go with a sad face. Or surprise face, you see. It mimics it. And the idea is, these are basic behaviors that we will need then to establish this interaction with the user. We are halfway through, but this is the very basic, and you see um, a robot has already some means of expressing and communicating with us and also of analyzing our behavior. Now, with our brain-based models, we're gonna try to learn how to interact with us. Hey, come closer. Okay. Hey, come closer. Go away, I'm tired. Let's go. It should actually try to call my attention, right? So, um, you see the camera over there? If you can look with the camera. That's an overhead tracking. With that, I'm tracking my position. So the robot knows where I am. And what his task is to drive my attention, but nobody explained him how to do that. And this is why you're listening now to come closer, come closer. He has this neutral face now, and it's saying eventually, come closer. And this is a behavior he learned. He had, he could say three words, he, three sentences. Come closer, could say go away, or could give a kiss as reward, right? And what he's learned is that actually to engage me in an interaction, he has to say, come closer. We we'll heard this again. When I come closer, he gives me a reward as a kiss, and he smiles back to me, right? If I go, then he's gonna do exactly the same thing. He's gonna try to drive my attention. He's gonna do some vocalization. It said again, come closer, right? And then I come close. If I'm in his field of view, he looks at me, smiles back at me, and gives me a reward. But all of this um, wasn't programmed. So he learned this after interacting with us. We just told him, you can do, move the head right, you can move the head left, you can say these three sentences, and that's it.